U.S. drug officials say the drug fentanyl that killed Prince in an accidental overdose is getting more dangerous. To create new fentanyl-related materials. Chemists, many of them in China, are changing the molecular composition of drugs to stay one step ahead of Chinese and American laws, creating what U.S. officials say is an entirely new class of illicit drugs. Drug enforcement administration labs such as this one are finding new mystery drugs every other week. Increasingly, they are variations of the potent painkiller fentanyl, a prescription drug 50 times more powerful than heroin. So basically, they are changing the length of this chain, so it will be longer or shorter, um, and that creates several um, of the different fentanyl-related materials that we're seeing. China disputes U.S. officials' assertion that it's the main source of fentanyls, but the AP found various companies selling a new drug called 4-FIBF, which Emily Dai identified in her lab. One company is Shanghai Xiangchong Chemical. The company, in an email, said the drug sells for $6,000 a kilogram. Manager Jamie Gao added that they do not ship opioids to countries where they are banned. Tens of thousands of people die from opioid overdoses each year in the United States. The United States represents 5% of the world's population, and yet we consume more than 80% of the opioids in the world. More than 9,500 deaths last year were from synthetic opioids, more than triple than in 2013. Small amounts of fentanyl can be converted into thousands of doses. It's considered so dangerous that law enforcement agents routinely suit up in hazmat suits while investigating drug cases. These substances are so deadly, the, the molecules are, are airborne, you, they, they come into contact with the skin, and you can literally overdose within seconds and die. With dozens of people dying each day from opioid overdoses, this DEA lab is not only enforcing laws, but also potentially saving lives. Peter Banda, The Associated Press.